Hey everyone, it's Ace here from All Cool Entertainment, and in this video I am reviewing the Apex Legends Pathfinder's Quest lore book. If you're someone who's very into lore, and you want to know the answers to questions such as, how did Watson get her scar? Who is the ghost? Why did Nick and Gibraltar have a falling out? When were the Apex games actually created? Space politics? War? Did Pathfinder murder his creator? What really happened on Olympus to cause that phase rift thing? If you're someone who needs answers to those questions and more, then this book is for you. Let's first talk about the presentation. This is a large book consisting of about 210 pages. Each chapter has pictures, text, little stories, and little snippets from each of the legend's personal lives. It's very creative and very cool. If you've read something like The Secret History of Twin Peaks, you'll know what I'm talking about. You'll also find some screenshots from in-game and some artwork that you've seen before in-game. On the topic of artwork, there were one or two cases where there was a picture shown that didn't necessarily fully go with the story at the moment. Speaking of story, the story itself, with no spoilers, is fantastic. This sort of serves as an encyclopedia for the Titanfall universe as a whole, as well as a sort of investigative character piece where Pathfinder goes around investigating everyone, trying to find out who his creator is. In the process, you as the reader find out so much about each character. It's very clever how they intertwined everybody's stories, how some of them connect, and how they tied them in with the lore comics from the game, as well as the ones on Twitter and the other in-game lore. The sort of coordination that must have gone on here in order to release this book when they did is pretty amazing. The fact that they were able to get this out when Season 8 started, with all of the characters prior to Season 8 having a part in the book, was pretty impressive. But you can clearly tell from the writing that a lot of thought went into this universe and how all the characters connect, even to the overall Titanfall universe. There are name drops and references to Titanfall and Titanfall 2, and a character or two might even show up in the book. There's also a little mystery at the end of the book as well, which is pretty cool. Hopefully we'll see that unfold over the next few seasons. What I thought was interesting was that in some of the chapters, you would have one character interacting with Pathfinder, whereas in others, you'd have multiple characters interact with Pathfinder. This made things feel more connected, and I like that. So if you like space politics, space battles, interesting characters, then this book is for you. If you're even curious, you can pick it up now for $39.99. I was fortunate enough that I pre-ordered it and got the pre-order price, but I think for $39.99 with the amount of content you get, it's worth it. Available now in hardcover, and I believe if not available now, but soon there will be a Kindle or digital edition. So the story, the art, the replay or reread value. Overall, I'm going to give this a four out of five. Very good. I would have liked to see some sort of free pack or something like that, some code you could enter in game. Even if it was just for a weapon charm, I thought that might be pretty cool. But I can understand why they didn't do that. But at the same time, I guess I'm a little greedy. The folks at Respawn did a really good job with this, and if you're someone who is really into Apex, you should definitely check it out. Have you read Pathfinder's Quest? Let me know in the comments. Take it easy.